Okay, so we just left the Tefnap Temple in terms of the campaign and it's a good occasion to explore around to see the chests and backtrack since the quest free update just dropped with the texture enhancements and stuff like that. I've been playing this game since its release so it's not like that ever got in my way. Although I know some sections that were of a lesser quality in comparison to some of the main ones. I'm not sure if you like noticed that in the video, but I'll give it a go. You pretty much enable it in the settings and you can't have both 90 Hz going on and rendering. So that's okay <laughs> because while recording this, sometimes the game just chunks and I much prefer to turn off everything. But we'll see if this will actually have a big impact on the performance or not. I don't know what's happening, but okay. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Right now I feel like there's a fog going on, which is interesting. If you want. Oh uh, well. Ah. Don't get comfortable. So this video will be me essentially just looking around and collecting stuff before heading for the next adventure. Now you walk. But there is like an ambience going on, environmental one. I can already feel the frames. I would have to like turn off things on and off to really notice the difference. Let me try it now. So this is off. I can clearly see the blurness and then Now it's definitely much sharper and defined with edges. Oh. So they really thought about little details like that. <laughs> Where are we essentially? Is this... Oh yes, for sure. Great sensing. <laughs> oh, I wonder about the enemies. Ah, he disappeared. I know that before rendering setting was about the distance of when things appear on the map. I didn't know I could grab this. I think we have two dungeons going on.
the cobras are more shiny. And I would know, because I hate them. Never doubt me. Kish. Yeah, there's like more shine going on. What would you do without me? We should not let that linger here. It's a treasure hunt after all. I always need to look for the levels going on. <laughs> It's almost triple. Did I expect? Not done with me, are you? Problem, however, is that the game is chunking. I can tell. So don't take this for granted. I don't know if I'm gonna be opting to play with that. It's always like you need to have more headroom for recording purposes. But then again on videos. What is it this time? Things look naturally better so it kinda balances itself out. Don't ignore me. And now this is too weak. <laughs> Place. I think the companions also look more defined. Like there's more detail going on. Ramses. Ah, oh, that's decent. What could this be? I was in the corner. What is this? Oh. 
Jesus, I suck today. <laughs> Oh, my elements are not for this. No worries. Yeah, this is a struggle gameplay wise. Oh. As good rough and recording tends to be rough in the situations I'm putting myself into, so could be cute with better quality outside of that, but in my specific setting, this update is kind of useless. <laughs> Do your thing. But I appreciate the effort. <laughs> also, I guess I should pass through the outpost before finishing the clip. Models look really nice now. I sense you wish to speak. Like very nice. <laughs> but it's essentially the texture blurness is gone. Things are pretty sharp and more defined with details. Like it really seems a full on quest free title, which it is kind of. <laughs> But yeah, other than that, this is a nice change. Maybe for some people, it's kind of getting into nitty gritty. Because the gameplay stays relatively the same. Well, maybe not for me because it's stuttering. So I opt always for the better performance instead of the visuals. However, it does look quite nice, which kind of gives you the thought process of if this game would be on the PC VR, like, mind blown. <laughs> but yeah, continuing the playthrough, this update doesn't really do much for me, but that's just my specific case scenario.